simply standing up for very, very fundamental rights in our country, in our state, in regard to particularly how our natural resources should be organized and how they should be harvested, either for the benefit of our people or for the benefit of some other entities. Unfortunately, we have a government that has decided, and the part of the main party of government in the fall over many decades, that our natural resources should be for the benefit of multinational corporations, of oil companies, of the shells of this world, rather than for the benefit of the Irish people. And it beggars belief, quite frankly, until this day, that they could hand over lock, stock and barrel a massive resource of natural gas off the coast of Mayo. And when I was in the Dáil, and this was seven or eight years ago, and I asked the then minister who was responsible for me from Galway, did the state at any stage carry out an independent investigation as to how much gas was in the current field so that they could then decide if they were going to give it to, to, to Shell or to some light company to exploit, what a price, a, a proper price would be. And incredibly, the government admitted at that stage that they had no independent assessment whatsoever of the extent of the gas in the Corrup field. So they were entirely at the mercy of the companies that were exploring at, the, at that time, in whose interest it was, of course, to seriously underestimate the amount of gas that was in the field, because that means that they would get a better deal for themselves. Now, as I said at that time to, to, to Fahey and the Dáil, I was a young fellow, I was born up in West Kerry, in a small farm way back in the 50s and 60s, and my father and myself used to bring the cows to the market every month on a Saturday morning, and if the farmer, the small farmer going to the market didn't have a price to put on his cow, he wouldn't last very long in the uh, rather b basic economy that we had at the time. So I said, here you are with something that is worth billions to the Irish people, and you telling me that you haven't put a price on what is out there for our people, our resources. And they had to admit that that was exactly the case. Now, to make a long story short, I salute uh, uh, Maura Harrington, I salute Shell to Sea, I su salute the communities in Eris and the people around the country who have stood by them and who continue to support the campaign. And, yes, yes, and I think there is a lot happening in the Irish economy now. This crash, this this crash, which as, is as a result of disgraceful speculation, profiteering, racketeering, I would call it, in the housing and property market. Some of us said this six, seven, eight, ten years ago, that it would finish up in this sorry state, and so it has. It's no pleasure to be proved correct, but what the people in Eris Mora, Shelter Sea, and we generally stand for will be vindicated beyond belief. Yes, yes, yes. Let me say in conclusion 
we have to again demand, we have to again demand that our resources are taken back from the shells and the rest of them. We should have immediately set up a state-owned exploration and recovery company in the same way as we set up companies for Bordnemona, for Cornish Shukra uh, Erden to, 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 to do the sugar beet, for the electricity which electrified the entire of this country. Private capitalism at that time couldn't do it. Who did it? The state, the public purse, the taxpayer did it, and brilliantly really in reality according to the standards of that time. That's what we need now today. We need our resources to be taken back into public control so that on the one hand, what is harvested out there is entirely for the benefit of the Irish people, for our, for, for, for our infrastructure and for our services and how desperately we need those resources now at the present time when you consider that they have decided, the powers that be have decided that they will take out this crisis and they will try to ride their way out of this crisis on the backs of the Irish working class, the poor, the small, the medium and the middle income people. That's what they have decided. So the resources that are up on our course are, are, course are de desperately needed to provide the services and the infrastructure that we need at the present time. And therefore we need to continue this fight to ensure that those resources are utilized for the benefit of our people. That's why Mora is in there, that's why we are out here. So we have to continue this fight and I have no doubt that we will be vindicated in the course of the